Do you remember Charlie White who fell a couple of times in the Cup of Russia, but uh, they progressed. They won American Nationals. Chris saw it and he thought they looked really good. And here they are then, Merrill Davis and Charlie White. Got to improve dramatically on their season's best if they are to get in the shake-up here. No disasters this time, far from it. <laughs> Terrific performance from Merrill and Charlie. Yeah, it was good. The couple of points there was, uh, they started off with so much speed from that introduction. I, I was thinking, well, there's no way they're gonna carry this through three sequences. And by the third sequence, they were definitely slower than the first. So the judges are gonna, not look kindly upon that for dead short. The other thing that I thought was uh, a little dicey was on a few places he didn't finish off his extensions. Certainly on the undercuts, on the progressive runs, uh, the chassis a little bit untidy and all those little bits will add up and that's what splits these two from uh, the likes of Domnina and Shavlin who are at the top of the pile at the moment. But nevertheless it was a good performance American national champions, but of course uh, Belbin and Augusto didn't compete in American nationals because of Augusto's injury. So it'll be very interesting to see how they shape up here. I can't imagine they're going to be above the, uh, the other American pair. No, for sure I can't see them being in the top three. He looks a little shell-shocked. Well, on that performance, I, I think they're going to be around fifth place, something like that, I, is where I would have them. Fifth wouldn't be great for John and Sinead. Uh, the Brits got 35-30, and they're in sixth place. But as long as they're within striking distance, that's good enough. But the, the, the worrying thing is that they were placed below the Italians. It was only uh, by a uh, hundred, yes, by uh, yeah, uh, one mark. Now then. The total score for 37 73 they've done okay 